Hi, welcome to my visit video on tangent chord property number two. Prove the tangent chord property. And because we prove it, we can say it's a theorem. The angle form between the chord and the tangent line to a circle equals the inscribed angle on the other side of the chord. So we have a tangent. I have a diagram drawn here. We have a tangent. We have a chord. So this is the inscribed angle on the other side of the chord. So this I could replace on the other side of the chord. Let's replace this wording with subtended by. So the inscribed angle is subtended by the chord. So the inscribed angle A H T is subtended by this chord. In other words, the inscribed angle is cutting off this arc or is cutting off is subtended or held onto by this chord. So we're given that triangle H T A is inscribed. And we're given that A, B is tangent at A. So here's A, B tangent at A, and this triangle is inscribed because if, it's, if we have a chord and this inscribed angle is subtended by the chord, that means that this triangle is inscribed. So we're going to prove that angle T, A, B, that's the angle formed by the chord and the tangent, is equal to the inscribed angle H subtended by this chord. So let's start the proof. Number one, we have triangle HTA is inscribed. That's the given. And AB is tangent at A. Make that look like an A there. So that's, but circle around. Sometimes I do the circle, sometimes I do the dot. It just depends. Number two. Now, what we have is that the angle T A B is half of the arc A T. So this angle is half of this arc. So the measure. The measure of the angle formed by the chord and the tangent equals half the intercepted arc that was done in the previous video. So this angle here, T, A, B, is, this angle is half this intercepted arc. So there's the tangent, there's the chord. So this angle here, T, A, B, is half this intercepted arc. That's what we proved in the previous video. Now, we have that the angle H is a half of the arc A, T. And remember the measure. Measure of the inscribed measure of the inscribed angle equals half intercepted arc. So this is an inscribed angle right here, H, so it is half of this arc. This is an inscribed angle here, A, so it's half of H T. This is an inscribed angle made up of two chords, H, T, A. So this angle is inscribed, so it's a half of the arc H, A. So I just wanted to show you those. So as a result, we have T, A is a half of the arc A, T. T, A, B angle is half of the arc. Angle H is half of the arc. So that means the angle T, A, B equals angle H. And we can call that substitution, but I like to call it transitive property.
transitive property of equality. Again, angle H is equal to this arc, half of it. Angle T, A, H is half of this arc, so they're both equal to half the arc, so they're equal to each other, transitive property of equality. Now we have another question. It says that we have AB is tangent at A, AB is tangent at A, so this is the point of tangency. The arc is CF, the arc CF is 140 degrees, so let's put that in here as 140. The angle FAB is 50, FAB, so this angle right here is 50. So we want to find X, so angle F is 2x minus 10. So we want to find x. So what we have is we have this arc, 140 degrees. So this angle A is uh, inscribed angle intercepting this arc. So this angle here, A, is 70. Now we have this angle formed by the tangent and the chord. So this angle formed by the tangent and the chord is equal to the inscribed angle equal to angle C, or this, another way to do it, this angle is half of this arc, so the arc FA is 100 degrees, and so this inscribed angle is half the arc, so 50. So these two angles here are equal, or we can go with, that's 100 and half of the 50, your choice. Now we have uh, three angles, so we have uh, 50, plus 2x minus 10, plus 70, make up the angles of the triangle, C, F, A, so we add all them up and we get 180 degrees, so 2x is, that's uh, 120 minus 10, so that's plus 110 equals 180, so 2x is 180 minus 110, 2x is 70, divide by 2, x is equal to 35, 35 degrees. Number three, the sides of the triangle PQR are tangent at A, B, and C. So triangle PQR are tangent at A, B, and C. So these A, B, and C are the point of tangencies. These sides of the triangle are tangent to the circle. So angle R is 40. Angle A, C, Q, angle A, C, Q, this angle right here, is the angle is 60. So we want to get what angle P is. So the easier way to do it, if I have this angle is 40, if I can get this angle, then I can subtract from 180 and get this one. So what we have is that these are tangents. So this side, so QC equals QA. Two tangents drawn from a common point are equal. So if these two sides are equal. That means these two angles are equal by ITT. So that's 60. This angle right here is 60. This is 60 and this is 60. Since this is a, a triangle, the angles add up to 180. So I got a 60 plus 60 is 120. 180 minus 120 makes this angle 60. Now that I have two angles of a triangle, this angle is angle P is 180 minus 60 minus 40. So that's uh, 100, so that makes 80 degrees. That's 120 minus 40 is 80, so angle P is 80 degrees. So 80 degrees. That's the quicker way to do it. There is another way to do it, but you're working around the triangle. This side is equal to this side, because this is a, two tangents come from this common point. That means that this angle is 40. There's 140 for these two angles, so 140 divided by 2 is 70 and 70. So this angle is the angle formed by the chord and the tangent. 
so that makes this angle here 70 because this angle A inscribed is equal to this angle formed by the tangent and the chord. Also, if this angle is 70, this arc is 140 because the angle formed by the tangent and the chord right here is half the intercepted arc. Since that's 140, that angle is 70, another way to get it. And we have um, we have 100 and so since we have 60 here, that means again the same reason for the 70s. This angle here is equal to this inscribed angle. This angle here is also 60. So this angle formed by the tangent and the chord is equal to this inscribed angle. That means that this arc is 120. This angle is 60 because it's half the arc. And we can go and get this angle now. It's just, this is just longer to go. 130, so that makes that 50. Because this is a straight angle. Add up to 180. This, these two are equal because they're two tangents drawn from a common point. So that's 50. That's 50 by ITT. Two sides equal. Angles opposite are equal. And we have 50-50 makes this 80. So there's another way, but it's longer. The first way I did it was much shorter. Just reviewing the properties. And the final one. A circle is inscribed in the triangle X, Y, W, so that uh, X, W, W, Y, X, Y intersect the circle at D, E, and F, respectively. Angle X is 100. F, E is 130. Arc F, E is 130. Find angle W and Y. So the angle is inscribed. So what we have, when we say the, the circle is inscribed in a triangle, so what we have is just that we have a triangle, and so the circle is inscribed in it. Like this, the circle is inscribed, and each side of the triangle is tangent to the circle. But we have to make angle X 100. So if we draw this segment here, now 90 will be here, so let's draw it like this. So this is angle X is 100. And don't make any difference how far down we come along. We think about angle X as being 100. Plus close to it, join these two up. So this is the, oops, I didn't, don't make any difference. So I have a circle in here as inscribed. So that's, again, this is a, just an approximation drawing. I'm just drawing it roughly. So we have angle X is 100. And we, now, it says that their XW, if this is XW, then X intersect a circle at D, uh, WY, so this is Y, WY intersects that circle at E, the tangent, and so this is F. Now, it has the arc FE 130, so let's take that 100 out of there and put a little arrow on that and indicate that angle is 100. And this arc here is 130. So we want to find the measure of this angle and this angle. So what we have to do is construct an, a triangle DFE. So now this triangle is inside and now this triangle is inscribed in this circle. So notice the circle is inscribed in the big triangle X, Y, W. Now we have this triangle by drawing these chords. This triangle F or D, F, E is inscribed in the circle. So as a result, we have, um, let's see, because this arc is 130 and this is tangent here and here, that means this angle here is 65 because it's half this arc. This angle is 65 also because it's half this arc. Because these two angles are uh, tangent. These two angles are uh, tangent here with this chord, tangent here with this chord. That makes this angle, this adds up to 130. That makes this angle 50. So that means we got angle Y 
is 50. Now, that's a hundred, that's a triangle. So we got a hundred plus 50. Plus, I'll put a plus there and I'm going to put an equal sign. Plus angle W equals 180. So angle W is 180. That's 150. So angle W is equal to 30 degrees. So this is 30. And again, the property is based on uh, two tangents coming from a common point. So we have Fy is equal to Ey because the two tangents coming from a common point. And since this arc is 130, this angle here is 65 because it's half this arc. This angle here is also half the arc because these two are equal. These angles are equal. So 130 and 50. So again, it makes sense and the angles of a triangle add up to 180. Okay. Hopefully you understand the tangent core property. And again, if you like my video, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, and subscribe to my channel. Visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Notice one word. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video helped you. Bye-bye.